Hello everyone, welcome to AR Arena channel. In this video, we will uh, going to make a pattern using Excel sheet and how we can get this pattern out and use it by scaled and Revit. In case of it can be stacked out, staggered pattern. And we will use in this video the Excel sheet from um, cathatch.com. So uh, let's go and see how we can do it. In my Revit file here, let's create a quick uh, flooring. And let's say I will duplicate this one and let's say ceramic or bouquet and from here I will change let's take this material and for my wood material if I go to my pattern I have drafting and model we will actually use the model pattern, but in case of the sizes of the parquet, it will be different than these two sizes. So how we can make this quickly by Excel sheet. So let's say I will choose any drafting to can see what it looks like. And then just put it out by section. You can see it up, and it's okay for now about the thickness. So if I back my label here, I see here this is my model pattern. So now how we can change it to scale? So I will go to my Excel sheet by cathatch.com they have the two types of the pattern in case of stack pattern or staggered pattern so I can from here choose my description if I will use let's say 1,000 by 90 And I can put now my 90 and 1200 and then the grout width all the sizes here it's by millimeter so let's say I will choose like 2 millimeter my sizes to get it like this shape and then as we can see now he can explain to me I need to highlight this calculations and open notepad and paste it and then I save as this temp. So I will take a copy from this one and I can go here for notepad. Paste this one and then I will save as as a temp and I need to make sure that exact the same temp and then I can put the name that I want and then two dot bat so let's say temp okay two dot bat and save so I can find now here my Hatch. If I back now to the rivet and to choose my flooring,
from here now I can check my pattern put it as a model and also to be sure that the type it will be also model and then I can choose anyone that I want in case of I will make duplicate from this pattern and I can change the name to be okay 1002 by 90 click OK and then once I edit I can from here browse my temp so I can see now he changed my pattern click OK and apply So now I see he created for me now very easy pattern regarding to the actual size and also the spaces of the clouding regarding to my sizes. Also the same if I want to get the exact size of my vec, so I can do the same here and change this one and let's say this is my brick 200 millimeter by 400 millimeter size and for my sheet I can back again and let's say 400 by 200 and make this 200 400 and I can change my grouping to be like 1 cm so it will be 10 mm copy paste here and save as temp Trick to dot BAT and when I back to my rivet then I can change my trick okay so he showed me now the exact size of my trick even with the sizes of my grouting so it can be very quickly uh, to make any of the pattern that I need in case of stacked out, stacked out. I will do the same in case of I have my stack button. I can change the sizes what I need and also I can copy and paste but in this case I don't want to put two. I will put just 10 in my file and do the same steps to get the exact size of my Pattern. So thank you for the watching and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram AR Arena Design and see you in the next videos.